What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And I think I finally made my final haul as far as Amazon goes for the month of November. I have a few titles that have come in during this week in the last three days. It's only, only halfway through the week, and I've already picked up quite a few things that have been on sale through Amazon. Again, some things that are on sale through, you know, for Black early Black Friday deals, as well as some items, you know, with a buy three for the price of two. Can't pass up on some of those deals as well. So I do have a little bit of a stack here. Let's get through these. And like I said, I picked up most of the things that I wanted. So that, this might be my last haul video for the month of November for as far as Amazon goes. Not to say that something else won't pop up on Black Friday, but for the most part, I think this is going to be it. Now, this one I picked up, this is like $9.99, but for four films, and four films, I've only seen the first film in this series, in this franchise. So I'm looking forward to checking out the other ones you know, at, at some point, and that is The Hunger Games. All four films on Blu-ray for 10 bucks. I figured, you know what? Why not? The first film's, you know, pretty good. And I did enjoy it. But I haven't seen Catching Fire or Mockingjay Part 1 or 2. So I went ahead and I picked this one up. Now this one I did see. And this is a pretty fun family film. Better than I thought it was going to be. I saw this on HBO Max earlier in the year when it came out. And that's the Tom and Jerry movie. It's actually pretty well done. A mix... A mixture of uh, animation as well as live, you know, live actors and actresses. But it actually blends well. It actually works pretty well together when you mix in the animated characters and the actual live actors and actresses. So Tom and Jerry had to pick that one up. Again, on sale, I think that one was like $7.99. And that's about where I wanted to be with that film. Now here's one that I've heard pretty good things about it i think it's kind of like, like a cult following now over the last few years you know more reviews pop up about this film all the time and as as above so below you know again horror film but one that i have not seen so i'm looking forward to checking this one out now going with 4k i have let me see i mean two 4k titles these actually just came in yesterday but again yeah, on sale, $17.99, John Carpenter's The Thing, starring Mr. Kurt freaking Russell himself. And I'm going to be honest, I have not seen all of this film. I have not. I've never seen the entire film all the way through. And it's a Kurt Russell film. It's a John Carpenter film, but I have not seen the whole thing. And you know what? If you're going to check it out for the first time all the way through, why not check it out in 4K? $17.99. It's the best I've seen, you know, price-wise price -wise so far. So why not go ahead and pick it up and add it to the John Carpenter collection? And again, you can't go wrong with Kurt Russell. Now all we need is we need Big Trouble in Little China on 4K. That would be nice. I have it on Blu-ray, but come on. Big Trouble in Little China. I need it on 4K. It's got to happen at some point, right? Now, I had the first film in 4K. It was an upgrade from Blu-ray to 4K. So I said, you know what? This film... Yes, it's not the greatest sequel, but it, to me, it does do some things right. And it actually does, in certain, you know, circumstances, does feel like a live-action version of this cartoon. And that is G.I. Joe Retaliation. I know, I know, it's not very well received by a lot of people, but it's, I don't think it's a terrible film. And seven ninety nine for the 4K... Why not? I have the first one on 4K. Why not go ahead and pick this one up? So, actually, I think it was like $9.99, but still, $9.99, $7.99, $9.99, I don't care. It's not a bad price for this film, and it's an upgrade from the Blu-ray. Now, this is one, this is a series that I have not watched in a few years, but I have stayed with it, and I've gone and I've picked up every season that has come out on Blu-ray, even though I haven't seen like the last three seasons of it. But I always wait for the price to drop to ten bucks. When I hit when it hits ten bucks, that's when I pick it up. And that is The Walking Dead, the complete tenth season. The series has dropped off. There's no denying that. And I guess I haven't seen it in the last you know, three seasons. But I have picked up. You know, when Black Friday rolls around, the last couple of seasons when they hit nine ninety nine, I go ahead and I do that. So I did pick this up for ten bucks. So I'm pretty much almost like in the I think we're like in the last season now. So, why not just go ahead and finish off this series? Now, here are three films that just came today. These were buy, you know, three, get three for the price of two. And actually, these are like five films, basically, in this, you know, 
in these three because two of them are double features. The first one, though, is a film, again, it's a it's a holiday film, it's a Christmas film I haven't seen in a long time, but it's Nicolas Cage, Taya Leone, Family Man. Had to pick this one up. It's Like I said, it's been a while since I've seen it, but it's a sweet film. It's, you know, it's definitely has, it's a wonderful, it's a, it's basically, it's a, it's like a wonder, it's a wonderful life retold, but you know, but with Nicolas Cage and you can't go wrong with Nicolas Cage before he gets all crazy and stuff. You know, he does do a little bit, some crazy things in this film, but it definitely has, it's a wonderful life feels in this film without a doubt. So that was Family Man. Now the next two are the double features. First off, Red and Red 2, Bruce Willis, Morgan Freeman. I mean, look at the cast. Like I said, Bruce Willis, Morgan Freeman, John Malkovich, uh, Helen Mirren. The second film, not seen the first film, but the second film, Bruce Willis, Malkovich, uh, Mary Louise Parker, Catherine Zeta-Jones, um, Anthony Hopkins, and Helen Mirren. Again, so pretty good cast in the second one. And again, not bad. Three for the price of two. You can't beat. We'll go definitely check out the, you know, their, their three for the price of two right now on Amazon because these were all they were all under ten dollars but you know obviously come they think they come to like six bucks almost when you you know knock out the, you know, knock down the prices so not bad at all and finally Anchorman double feature the Ron Burgundy collection here with Will Ferrell himself I have not seen the second one I've seen the first one but I've never seen the second um, Anchorman so why not go ahead and pick it up and have both Ron Burgundy films so like I said, I don't know this. I think this is going to be my last haul from for Amazon, from Amazon for this month. But you never know. Crazier things have happened. But still, not a bad little stack, you know, picked up in the last few days when sales pop up. So, if I don't see everybody, if I don't, you know, make another video before the end of today and, you know, get another one up, I want to say thank, have, uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. So, like, subscribe, and comment if you get the chance, and I will catch you in another episode. Take care.